Okay, Halloween is over, but the candy stains and other frightful spots from all the festivities may still be haunting you. I promise the puns are all over with you guys. No In more. today's Good to Know segment, we have got tips for getting rid of some of those holiday messes. Consumer Reports put together these stain removal recipes to help with your post-Halloween laundry. Let's start it all off with trick-or-treat candy and the dreaded chocolate stain. You'll want to use the soak cycle on your washer with detergent. Cold water works best. And make sure the stain is gone before you put your clothes into the dryer. Gum, on the other hand, cannot just be washed out. I mean, no kidding, you guys. Try Extra Strength Bengay. Hmm. What? It does have an ingredient to help dissolve the gum, but what does it do to your skin if it dissolves gum? Extra strength, <laughs> Ben Gay. Not just Ben Gay, extra strength. Well, start with a hair dryer and some kind of direct heat on the gum and then scrape off as much as possible with a plastic knife and then apply that dab of Ben Gay and start rubbing it with like plastic Ziploc. That'll get the rest of it off. The plastic is good since the gum will stick to it and not the other way around. That was a mouthful. Yeah, it was. Tell me about it. Mm. And then finally, mm. let's talk about fake blood. It was great for your zombie costume, but it can make a real mess. You'll want to carefully blot the stain to keep it from spreading. Use a detergent solution made of one teaspoon of mild dish soap and a cup of warm water. Again, just to clarify, the Bengay should be extra strength. The plastic bag does not need to be extra strength. <laughs> Can be any size, quart, gallon, whatever you have in your cupboard.